Well, from the iBaseball channel, it's as you can see how I'm dressed in my uh, unique camouflage outfit here. We're in the dead of the winter and it's Christmas in a couple of days. And I want to kind of do something that I really don't uh, like to do, but I, I have to do it. And so I'm going to bring up a couple of uh, people from the baseball family that have uh, passed this year just recently. And one of them I have just a short friendship with because... Uh, you know, being a, a young player coming into the big leagues when the Major League Baseball Players uh, Union was uh, in full swing, there was a gentleman named Marvin Miller who had probably the most impact on the game that any more than any player will ever have. And the other person I just wanted to talk about was a former teammate of mine that had an impact on the club when he joined uh, the Indianapolis Indians back in 1978. And uh, I'm talking about Champ Summers. And Champ just passed away uh, a little over a month ago. And I uh, just want to acknowledge uh, that he was a tremendous friend of mine and teammate. And uh, probably one of the most unbelievable uh, athletes I've ever seen. And uh, kind of picked up a, a group of guys with the uh, we were with the Reds back then, and we were the Indianapolis Indians, and we had just lost our uh, couple of our main leaders on the team. Steve Henderson, and Danny Norman had gone to New York for the in the Tom Seaver trade, and we received Champ Summers, and this guy shows up on the scene, an older guy, 30, 31 years old, and playing with a bunch of younger guys, uh, Wild Indians, and uh, I've never seen a guy have uh, put together an offensive year like he did that year. Uh, 356, 30, 34 home runs and 140, 50, 60 RBIs. Just unbelievable offensive uh, year that he had. But Champ is a unique athlete in that he could do all kinds of things. We never knew this at first, but we just heard all kinds of stories about him, you know, being able to do certain things. In a game in Indianapolis, we were down uh, eight to one or two going into the ninth inning. And we got a rally started, and Champ had made the last out in the eighth inning. And he had, it was a hot, humid day in Indianapolis, and he had gone in after somebody made it out, went up the breezeway and took his clothes off, his baseball top, and uh, cracked open a beer. And was sitting there having a beer, and all of a sudden we get this rally going, and a walk, and an air, and a double, and now it's like eight to four, and somebody, look, it's a, somebody looks over and says, who's on deck? And well, it's Champ now, he's on deck and he's not there and I zip into the clubhouse and said, guess what, you're on deck. And he's, he got mad because he thought I was playing a, a joke on him. I said, no, I'm serious. And I had, I'd gotten his uniform top out of the laundry basket and no underwear, nothing on. He just put the uniform on, chugged down the beer and now he was already announced and he just took the bat and the helmet and the kid was waiting for him and he went up and on the third pitch, he hits a three run homer to win the ball game. My favorite all time quick story is one day on an off day we, uh, in spring training, we decided we, we wanted to play basketball. We go to the University of South Florida uh, in Tampa. And it was a, just some day. We'd heard, you know, just looking maybe to go in their gym and shoot around. Well, when we get there, uh, there is a major four-on-four -four hunch uh, games going. And they have a challenge end at the main court on the half court. And then on the other half court, it's a championship. And uh, so we walked in this gym, uh, Champ Summers, Mike Grace, myself, and another catcher named Jeff Sovereign, four of us. And uh, when we get in the gym, uh, after a few minutes, we realized we were the only uh, white guys in the gym. And so now <laughs> these guys are staring us down and somebody comes up to us and says, ask us if we want to play. We go, sure. We walked out on the court. There was these guys standing there. And the, the one guy was about 6'9", about 275. Here I am used to pitching in front of big crowds at the major league level, and I'm going to tell you, right, I was uh, a little nervous right now because I'm looking out there going, man, I don't have to guard this guy. He's like 6'9", you know, he's just a monster. And so I walk over there, you know, to pair off, and we're getting ready to go, and of course they're going to take the ball out because they're the winners. And all of a sudden, somebody taps him on my shoulder, and I look, and it's Champ. And he looks right at the guy that's 6'9", he goes, I'll take him. 
I went, what? <laughs> and so I went, okay. And so I went over and took this other guy and we played this, these guys four on four and watched Champ Summers destroy this guy inside. This guy was like 6'2", on a, this guy that was 6'9", and he destroyed this guy inside, shooting left-handed, right-handed, turnaround jumpers, hook shots, everything. Just a good teammate and a terrific athlete, and I wanted to just uh, archive his memory in the iBaseball channel.